Welcome to the Weekly Interceptor's Explain Playlist, where I explain prominent weapon systems and concepts about air and missile defense. Roving Sands is a three-week-long joint air defense exercise held at Fort Bliss, Texas, that focuses on training and certifying the air defense artillery units of the 32nd Army Air and Missile Defense Command. The exercise aims to provide a combat training center-like evaluation where units simulate combat operations in an austere environment and refine their air defense skills in preparation for the real-world global response. A part of the joint training, the Marines and Air Force also participate as simulated enemy air threats. Roving Sands was first held at Fort Bliss, Texas in 1989. Developed by the 11th Air Defense Artillery Brigade, now part of 32nd Army and Air Missile Defense Command, the exercise took place in order to train air defense forces in a realistic environment that simulated a combat deployment. The 1990 exercise actually became a train-up for 11th Brigade's deployment to Southwest Asia in support of Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. Throughout these operations, 11th Air Defense Artillery Brigade employed the skills, tactics, techniques, and procedures that they developed and honed during Roving Sands. Major weapon systems involved in the exercise include Patriot, Thad, and Avenger that culminated with a live fire exercise at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. Similar to the National Training Center for other conventional military units in the United States, Roving Sands creates an opportunity for the air defense artillery community to conduct joint maneuver-based exercises in a dynamic environment while validating readiness. With the growing threat from missiles, rockets, artillery, and mortars, as well as unmanned aerial systems, air defense artillery forces will continue to be the forefront in the defense of America and her allies. In the future, the goal is for Roving Sands to remain as an exercise that creates an annual venue that forces staff refinement of internal operational readiness procedures throughout the ADA community, while giving the 32nd AAMDC a vehicle to exercise mission command outside of the biannual air missile defense exercise conducted in the CENTCOM area of responsibility. Thank you for watching the Weekly Interceptor on YouTube. Join us next week for more missile defense news.